848, I'm Terrence Lee with the Voice of Change. Stories once unheard are now being told at a museum in Waukegan. It all started when a former educator made a discovery in the basement of her new home. Let's bring in Sylvia England. She is joining me now to tell us all about the African American Museum at England Manor. Good morning to you. Good morning. First, take us back to 2009. What did you find in your new house? So it was interesting as I was going through the house, of course, I bought the house with the ceilings falling in. But when I got to the basement, what I realized was that I had a whole room down there that was covered up. So in moving the board, what I found was a little room inside where people could actually be hidden. Wow. So I understand those yes. those double rooms that were part of the Underground Railroad are not part of this exhibit. But walk us through what is I mean, you have a number of artifacts. Yes, I do. So the museum is made up of five different rooms. We, of course, have a foyer that has all of the rooms highlighted, but we have an African room. We have an Underground Railroad room. We have a 40 acres and a mule room. <laughs> we have the Great Migration Room and Contemporary Black America. And I have those rooms set up because what I want to do is show the bravery that African Americans endured and the inspiration that came from it. Hmm. I'd imagine it's hard to pick your favorite artifact or part of the museum, kind of like asking a former teacher who her favorite student was. But uh, what piece <laughs> right. gives you chills every time you walk past it and see it? Well, you know what? The, the, when you first walk in, I have a map of Africa because what people don't realize, and they do, is that Africa is a continent. And we often refer to it as if it's a country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that kind of, you know, starts everything. And the other thing is African-American history is our history every day. But we don't even, you know, we don't realize it just like the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember back in school, it was like uh, the last thing on the list of the syllabus for the school year. And we never made it to that part of the syllabus. Um, what have you been hearing from people who have had a chance to come see the museum? What have I heard from them? What's their reaction? What do I? Well, most people come through with a wow, because if you walk into a historic house, you don't see artifacts everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the museum has a lot of artifacts because our history is so vast. Yes. So they come out and they say, oh my goodness, I can remember when. So the museum is set up for people to come in to tell their story. So as they tell their story, I'm videotaping it because what I eventually want to do is put all of the stories together. Before I let you go, how can people see all this for themselves? Should they call ahead? Should they make appointments? Yes, please. You can go to the website. It's aam at englandmanor.com or you can call 224-409-3421 and talk to me directly and I'll set up a tour for you. Mrs. Sylvia also England. Oh, go ahead, right? They mean to cut you off. Yes. Oh, you know what? Also, before we leave, uh -huh. I would just like to highlight this book by one of the new authors out there. His name is Avery Pearl, but it's 100 Years of Anti-Black Policing. But mm -hmm. what's happening is people are coming to the museum and this is what they want to do. They want to tell their story. Mm -hmm. All right, we all have stories to tell, and they all need to be heard. Thank you, Mrs. Sylvia England. It was a yes. pleasure talking with you this morning. Thank you. Good talking to you also.